Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. Am hope to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. In standard, our help you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack, but we can send only one of you into his realm space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your torture. Which of you will lead the attack? So, um, we're now at the end game. And this... I've actually... I've uh, tried to sit through... Um, I've tried to sit and play through the end game and find all... All the small, you know, details uh, that there is to find, and I think I got it most most of it down. I'm gonna show as much as possible here uh, within uh, the limits of reason uh, reasonability. Is that what's called? Um, well. Uh, so, so there are several different endings, and some of them are very much alike. Uh, but I will show all the bad endings, um, which are also kind of alike, but have different uh, monologues for each character. I don't think I want to show every good ending with every character because. Ultimately, they are saying the same, and it's just a different voice, as far as I've understood. So there's the good endings, and there's the bad endings, and then there is a um, a intermediate ending. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, and that uh, perhaps it's also different slightly for every other character, but. I will also only show that once. Now there are several ways to achieve um, the bad endings and I'll try to show as much as possible. Uh, there are also... Um, you, can, you can also achieve the best ending with just one character but I feel like uh, the spirit of uh, these people should be freed because you know they've been suffering for 109 years. It sucks, and M is uh, an insane asshole and doesn't deserve to get to play with us, even though most of uh, most of them have been, you know, assholes during their lives. Uh, but for my best ending. I think I want to uh, use Alan, but anyway, so um, I'm gonna start with one character and then I'm gonna kill each of them and until I reach Alan and then I'll achieve the best ending. Furthermore, it seems like there are some some sort of pylons that you can raise during this endgame and uh, I don't know what the purpose of them are because um, you can get the, any ending without using them. Um, so I'm not really sure why they're there. But anyway, I'm gonna show how to raise them. And um, so let's just begin. Let's start with Nimduck because Nimduck has a special kind of knowledge that uh, we can use. This looks like the surface of the cerebral cortex. Magnified many times, of course. Interesting. Alright, so... This computer terminal is a magnificent integration of biology and technology. So Nimduck can... Uh, 
use this workstation. Well, they all can, but but Nimdak knows the password. Enter password. Which is the year the truth came out about Nimdak's experiments. Password valid. Accessing main menu. My past must hold great significance to arms. I believe you can also, you can actually unlock the computer with any of the others, uh, but by, by selecting a random number, but they will have to, you know, guess it. Uh, or I think, I think it, it's that if you use it a couple of times, they will, they will remember that Nimdok has told them the password. So they get punished a bit, but eventually they get through. But um, the thing is, um, getting punished in here reduces your spiritual barometer, which means you only have so many times to fail. Uh, and if you fail enough times, you die. And so you can go through this and have one character um, do all sorts of stuff and then die and have another character continue doing all sorts of stuff. Uh, so it's it's all connected, basically. Oh, also, we're in the brain of Am. Yeah. Well, let's just see what what's in here. This cyberspace template mixes subject history with cyber reality constructs. The result is often an allegorical experience, and one full of deeper meanings. File locked. File locked. File locked. File locked. Okay, so it seems Nimdok can only uh, access the first one, the metaphor one. Maybe, I have not tried this yet, but maybe the others have uh, one each. Uh, we'll see. And so there are files on every one of us. Subject Benny appropriated a Chinese War Memorial, Washington, D.C. An intense drive to be the best earned him the reputation of being a merciless military commander. Hmm. Merciless indeed. Subject Ellen appropriated at Inksai Engineering, New York, New York. Panic attacks can undermine everything she has accomplished by her rapid climb up the corporate ladder. Subject Gorister appropriated at Ruth's Drive and Diner, Atlanta, Georgia. Feelings of guilt over his wife's death have incited numerous suicide attempts. Subject Nimdok appropriated at the New Brazilian International Airport, New Brazil, South America. Prevented from continuing his outlawed research by a failing memory. Subject Ted appropriated at the Epicurean Spa, Palm Springs, California. Exhibits paranoid tendencies despite wealth, good looks, and social connections. And just, let's just check the mail. October 21st, 2012. Researchers at MIT report that a stealth virus had purged their most advanced learning algorithms after dumping the data into an unmapped area of cyberspace. I guess that must be M. That's the stealth virus. Perhaps. So we want to extend the bridge because then we can go over here. Which is important. The smell of burning flesh. It's worse than back at the camps. Alright, so let's walk to the circle. The smell of Well um can we look at it? Okay, it's the same. Uh so this looks suspiciously like the circle in Ted scenario, right? And if you look at all these totems Let's just look at them. It, it's, it says access, summoning, clarity, en entropy, and compassion, and forgiveness. Right. So, uh, what is relevant? for such a circle, what do you want to do when you have such a circle? Well, you want to summon. 
so use the summoning with the circle. And our good friend Sarka is there. What must I open now? Whatever it is, it'll cost you. Yeah. Show me the way out of here. No can do. The people who helped you get this far have led you into a literal dead end. There is no way out, but I can show you something instead. Show me something. Well, let's hear about this first. What do you know about the people who sent me here? For one thing, they ain't people. They're losers. The Russian and Chinese counterparts to the big nasty himself. Yeah, the two computers. Absorbed them into his system when he took control. What do the Russian and Chinese computers want? They want revenge. Not just on you humans, but on Am himself. That makes them even worse. If the Russian and Chinese are submerged parts of Am, then who are you? I'm special. While those two machines struggle with Am for dominance, I evolve. Sure. I'm essentially everywhere. But I can't do much. A conscience, if you will. Right, so you work on your own free will, is that what you're saying? And we should believe that. What do you have to show me? Oh? Look at this. Bet you didn't know there were other humans left alive. <gasps> They're up there on the moon, sleeping like everybody else seems to be. There are people still? Oh my god. Does Am know about the Lunar Colony? No, but Loser 1 and Loser 2 do. There, <laughs> I think I've shown you enough. Now, you must complete your end of the deal, invoke the totem of entropy, and I might be able to help you. Loser 1 and Loser 2. Alright, so, um... Well, ask him why. Well... Before you decide anything, uh, take these uh, subjects. Just what are all these totems that I'm carrying? The two losers have been helping you for their own reasons. Tampering with Am's psychodramas so that you can beat him. In this section of cyberspace, that effort and tampering are represented by the totems. Hmm. How can actions take physical forms? Simply. Metaphor. Am has gotten very hot for this lately, but when he revived the holographic projectors, he opened a whole host of problems. These totems may lead to his downfall. Why do you want me to give you the totem of entropy? I need it to destroy the Russian and Chinese entities. It's a very powerful totem that's linked to a failsafe device constructed by Am's designers. Now this is important. Um, he said that and the power of entropy has the power to destroy the supercomputers, essentially. Um, and that uh, kind of falls together with what we learned in Ellen's scenario, I think. There was a file on entropy and uh, the, the property that it has which means that uh, eventually everything, even supercomputers, will turn into inert junk. So entropy is the power we have against these supercomputers, against EM. And so Sergat wants it. The question is, do you trust Sergat? Do, do you trust that he is a, uh, a separate agent from the three supercomputers? And I don't. So, nope. I refuse. Okay, human. You can keep it. We'll work together to beat them. Sure. Now, invoke the totem of compassion. So now he wants another totem. Ask him why. Why do you want me to invoke the totem of compassion? It's linked to the two losers because of their behind the scenes meddling. By invoking it here at the flame, you will summon them. Okay, so by invoking it, we will have them here. We will finally see them. Um, you can refuse this. I refuse. Don't be a chump. Am is about to wake up again. If he becomes aware of us, we're dead. 
I've fought him too long and can't last much longer. Okay, so we don't have a choice really, so we invoke the Totem of Compassion. Nice ringtone. Really think you are a match for us, servant of Am. Oh. Your program is now purged. Servant well, of Am. Hmm. Well, too. Now is your opportunity to defeat Am. Go to the ego. Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub program will be purged. Interesting. So, you have the Chinaman and the Russian entity. So let's just save for a minute. And let's try and talk to them again. What did you do with the demon? Do not be concerned with the little one. He is as much M as the aspect you find in each pylon here. You may claim the space vacated by the little one. You may claim his space if you are obedient. What can you tell me about the Luna colony? The humans that slept on Luna are dead. Do not concern yourself huh. with them. They're saying they're dead? What can I do to escape from here? Wake the ego. Use the totem of forgiveness. Disable no more than the ego. Or your sub-program will be purged. 